How's it going everybody and welcome to the channel. Today we are taking a look at the Tenergy Phoenix. It is a Wi-Fi FPV collision avoidance interchangeable modular design RC quadcopter ready to fly. So let's open up the box and check it out. All right, so here we go guys. We got the quadcopter out of the box and everything else out of the box. Now this is a rebrand of the Kai Deng's Pantonma quadcopter that I've done a review on some time back but when I did the review on that one it did not come with the modular pieces like the obstacle avoidance module nor the camera module but this one does come with everything so we're going to be able to check it fully out here today so it's got the nice black and yellow uh, color scheme going on and looks like all of the Tenergy quadcopters do have this same color scheme to differentiate itself from all of the other quadcopters uh, brushed motors we got some LED lights on each of the arms there and here's a placeholder you just take it out and here's the obstacle avoidance module you just click it in here and it has let's see here it has four optical sensor cameras to avoid obstacles so you can actually put your hand on it and it'll move away from your hand or when it comes close to a wall it'll kind of bounce off without hitting the wall so that is pretty cool if you want to fly this thing indoors but if you want to fly it a little bit sportier you want to take this off less battery drain and less weight now in the front we have the modular bay for the wi-fi fpv module here's the antenna so you just click it in or slide it in and it clicks into place and this camera is remote tilt adjustable from zero degrees to 90 degrees and here's the Wi-Fi antenna there's a little clip there to hold the Wi-Fi antenna in place really nice a little push button unlocking button so you can take it out but I'm not gonna take it out and in the back here we have the battery bay and the battery that they provide you with are these 3.7 volt 650 milliamp battery good for about six and a half minutes but they do provide you with two of these so that is really nice and because i still have my kai deng pantonma quadcopter i have its battery here so i have three of these batteries to check out this quadcopter with now it comes with a charge cable to charge up the battery and they also provide you with another one so you can charge two batteries at the same time now the remote control is pretty unique you put your phone right in the middle of the remote control spring loaded and this has a rechargeable battery as well so the same cable that you use for charging up the batteries you can charge up the internal battery of the remote control so there's a little connector plug right there and just power source the USB now a uh, red light will turn on once everything is fully charged like the remote control as well as the battery right so we get a bag of goodies a full set of extra props some screws and a screwdriver and we got the prop guards as well very easy to install the prop, prop guards here just place it towards the end of the arm and just push down on it and if you are a beginner do put the prop guards on that'll help you save the props and in turn help save the motors but i'm going to be flying it without the prop guards here today here's the remote con uh here's the Here's the instruction manual and addendum to the instruction manual for your Wi-Fi FPV app. And the Wi-Fi FPV app is called the Pantonma app. So it is using the same app that was originally made for the Pantonma quadcopter. And here I have the original Pantonma. That's what it looks like here. That's the box. And let me show you guys exactly how that quadcopter looked like. So this is the quadcopter that I was talking about. This is the Kai Deng Pantoma. This one is identically the same as the Phoenix, but in a different color. So there you have it, guys. So taking a look at the quadcopter, that is just about it. We got some rubber footings to stick that landing. And we also have a power on and off push button switch as well. All right, so here's the remote control. 
and everything is just about marked on the remote control so this is the uh, one key to return this is the camera button short press to take a photo long press it to take a video and here's a speed changing button speeds one two and three can be had this is the one key to take off and one key to land but when you press it it does not automatically take off it just arms the motors then you have to manually take off with a throttle stick but it does uh, automatically land itself once you are up in the air and you press that button right so we got the power indicator and the charge indicator uh, the charge indicator I believe lights up while you're charging and it turns off when you're when it is fully charged here's some trim buttons here and here is a button to turn the LED light on and off and here is the headless mode button power on and off switch and we have the camera tilt uh, button here you push this button to tilt the camera up and push this button to remote tilt the camera down and here is a flip button now both sticks to the bottom and to the left will calibrate the gyro of this quadcopter all right so let's go for a little demo flight with the Tenergy Phoenix all right here we go with the demo flight of the Tenergy's Phoenix now I have the camera module inserted as well as the obstacle avoidance module inserted and the batteries already inserted. So all I got to do is push the power on and off push button switch. Now here's the remote control with a phone inserted. This is the iPhone 6 Plus. Now check it out. You got tons of room so you can put a small size tablet as well for your FPV video feed. But I'm going to fly it without the phone inserted on here. I'm going to be using my iPad instead for the FPV video feed. So let's go ahead and power it up. Oh, look at that. LEDs come on and the camera um, calibrated itself. So go ahead and power on the transmitter and the red light is flashing. No need to up and down on the throttle. Automatic bind. So let's go ahead and calibrate both sticks to the bottom and left. And the lights are flashing. And they have gone solid. So we are good to go. So let's go ahead and open up the phone app. First, you need to go into your settings and connect to the Wi Fi network of this quadcopter. And it is called the KD Wi Fi Network. Unsecured network. Wait until the check mark appears and there we go. And here's the app. It is called the Pantone Ma app. So let's go ahead and get it started here. And looks like that is the correct way. Yes, that is. Looks like the video quality is not that great. Now this quadcopter is pretty old. So I'm thinking this is at best 720. So there's the camera. So nowadays, you know, we are pretty much spoiled. We got 720p Wi-Fi feed plus 1080p recording capability. Now this thing does not have a built-in DVR. So what we're going to be recording uh, is directly into the phone app. So it will not be high quality uh, photos and videos, but we are able to take a photo. Oh, not like to add to your photo. So you say, okay, let me go ahead and screen record so you guys can see the screen. Three, two, one. And there we go. It is recording. So I hit the photo icon and the page flips over. And if I hit the video icon, it turns red and there's a counter as well. So with the phone app, you are able to take photos and videos. And with the hard remote, you are also able to take photos and videos. Let's hit this photo button. Okay, I heard a beep, but I didn't see the page go flipping over. And let's long press it. Now nothing is happening on the phone app. So I'm thinking we're not taking a photo and video using the hard remote. So we're gonna to have to rely on the Wi-Fi phone app. All right, so let's go ahead and make our rounds and take some photos here. All right, so here we go. But however, let's check out the camera tilt angle 
ability here. So let's go ahead and tilt the camera up, all the way up, and here you go. It goes down in increments, and it goes up in increments. And if I hold it, yeah, incrementally goes up and down. I'm going to leave it all the way up. So that works. And I think I need to change hands because the camera icon is on the left top corner. So let's go ahead and take some photos. There we go. There we go. Let me hit this eye icon to get rid of the virtual sticks there. There we go. That's a lot better. Let's see what the sun looks like. Oh, we do have a solar eclipse on the sun, guys. Photo of the car. And the table and the landing pad. And one more photo up front. All right, so we've taken some photos. So let's go ahead and take a video. I'm going to hit the video icon from the phone app or the iPad app. And we're going to leave the iPad right here. So we'll come back to that in a little bit. So let's go ahead and check out the core functions of this quadcopter. So both sticks at the bottom and left. Let me go ahead and calibrate it one more time. There you go. All right, here we go. So one key to take off and land does not automatically take off. It just arms the motors. And you'll have to manually take off. All right. There is a little breeze taking the quad copter that way. And I'm pitching forward trying to fight it. So this is speed number one. If I let go, that's the wind speed for you. So I'm going to go ahead and up on the speed. Speed number two, and it is able to fight this wind or this tiny little breeze. Not even five miles an hour breeze, maybe about two, at the most three. So there we go in speed number two. So without any wind, you are probably going to be able to fly in speed number one. Or you want to take some smooth videos, you can fly it in speed number one. But here I'm going to start off by testing it in speed number two, and that is its behavior. It's decent. Okay, so speed number three, three beeps. There we go. Nice beginner quadcopter. I like the uh, little designs, the landing pod design on the end of the motor part on each of the arms looks pretty cool and it has that rubber footing at the end so you can stick that landing yeah so far so good all right okay i hit the uh, uh oh i hit the flip button but it did not do a flip nope nope it is not doing a flip guys so no flip ability here. Nope. Letting go of the button or holding the button does not. Apparently no flips can be had with this quadcopter. All right. And I do feel a little bit of a power drain. So let's go ahead and quickly. Oh. And it has to hit the ground. Yeah. So the power to weight ratio is not very good. Yeah, unfortunately. So let's go ahead and check out the headless mode here. Okay, pulling it back in a spin. Going to the left in a spin. Going to the right in a spin. The headless mode works good. So let's go ahead and get out of the headless mode. And check out the one key return. And there you go. Coming back towards me. Redirect it and you get out and I'm pretty sure if you redirect it or press the button again It will get out as well. Nope. It does not you have to redirect it To get out of the one key to return. All right, so let's go ahead and check out the One key to land now this one will work and you can go ahead and redirect this path while it's coming down so you need to manually take off and the one key to take off button just arms the motors, but while in flight, 
one key to take uh, land will work. All right, so let's go back up in altitude here. And that is just about it. We can test out. Let's see, the LED lights are on here. Let me go ahead and hit the button to t turn off the LED lights. We don't need LED lights during the day. So there you go. You can save some battery life by turning it off. And that is all of the functions of this quadcopter. So let's go and see if we can do some FPV real quick here. Yep, I see it. It's a little wobbly. And there's a car going behind the car, turning around. And oop, overshot the car. Okay. I think because I'm on the other side of the car, it is having a hard time responding to the signal. There you go. Yeah. So the car does play a role. So let me go ahead and bring it back here. Uh-oh, uh-oh. There's a little power drain there. There we go. So not very good signal strength behind an object. So let's put it in front of us and not go behind the car this time. And look at that, it's coming down and I'm throttling up all the way. And it is back up. All right, so let's leave it in front of me and do some FPV. A little in and out there and I think it's gonna hit the ground once more. Yep, it sure did. There you go. Yeah, so not much power to be had on this one. I'm gonna go down in speed, speed number two. Maybe that might help out with the power drain. So there we go, slowly turning. around here and let me see if I can get myself in the shot here there we go I think I over rotated so very hard to fly this thing and it is coming down again bounces off the ground and it is coming back towards me all right there we go so not the greatest flyer does have a little bit of power drainage issues here Okay, full pitch on speed number two, and I have to full throttle, and it barely touched the ground this time. So definitely, I believe because of the obstacle avoidance module, it is eating up the battery. I didn't even test the obstacle avoidance module. All right, so I think that is just about the flight time, guys. So it is going back up. Check it out. I still got some. So let's check out the obstacle avoidance. Whoa, whoa, no, not very reliable obstacle avoidance either, and it keeps coming down. So there you go. I think that's just about the battery life of this Tenergy Phoenix, the rebranded Kaidang Pantoma. Yeah, I'm full throttling, and it is unable to lift itself back up. So there you go. The motor shut off automatically as well. Let me go ahead and turn off the video. All right. And let me go ahead and switch out the battery and test it out a little bit more. All right. So here we go one more time with the fully charged battery. So let's go ahead and take off. Arming the motors and manually taking off. Speed number two. That is the best speed, I believe. Here we go. Let's go ahead and check out the obstacle avoidance. Not very good obstacle avoidance testing out in this field, is it? I'm afraid I'm gonna get my hand struck with the props. Probably work a lot better indoors. Maybe I'll do a little segment indoors testing this thing out. So let's go ahead and land it here. So obstacle avoidance doesn't really work very well outdoors here because of the sunlight probably. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove it.
So there we go. That is the obstacle avoidance module taken off. And let's go ahead and check it out with the Wi-Fi phone app. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off the hard remote. And we are able to also fly this thing with the phone app. So let me go ahead and turn on the virtual sticks here. And let's see. One key to take off, one key to land. All right, screen record. And take off. Arming it, and there you go. We are flying it with the Wi-Fi phone app. And we are on high speed. So we have just two speeds using the phone app and you are still able to fly this thing with the phone app. All right, the breeze is kicking in a little bit more so it's kind of taking it away from me. There you go, when I let go, see it's flying that way. So let me go ahead and bring it back here. Give it a little bit of throttle. Yeah, but it does work with the Wi-Fi phone app. All right, so let's go ahead and check out the gyro mode here yeah you can fly the quadcopter with the tilting action of your phone or device check it out it works pretty good most often all of these wi-fi quads with the gyro mode but they all work pretty well and this one works pretty good there was a slight delay there but look at that, it works pretty well. So let me get out of the gyro mode and retake control with the virtual sticks. There you go, very nice. All right, what else do we have here? We can turn the lights off with the remote. And the lights are off. Nice, very cool. All right, so let's go ahead and land this baby here one kilo land and it is coming down and you are able to direct its downward path and there we go and the motors shut off very very nice and also if you have a phone and if you have virtual reality goggles those split screen virtual reality goggles you are able to do a split screen and you can enjoy FPVing with the virtual reality goggles. All right, so we're going to go ahead and take off one more time. I mean the motors and I'm just going to go ahead and fly around. And I got the screen recording. I don't have the video turned on. So we'll just sightsee and do some FPV with the phone app solo. There we go. I kind of know this place a little bit, so I know where I am. There I am, coming towards me. And let me go ahead and stop. And we have a camera down angle. There you go. All right, that works. Camera up, up, and let me yaw a little bit to get me in the shot here. Oop, over, rotated. Come on, a little bit to the right. There we go. I think I'm going too far away. Oh, look at that. There's a little bit of jello, but I was able to... Oh, man. There we go. Coming towards me. Full pitch. With the camera slightly tilted. So as it's coming, I'm going to go ahead and lower down the camera even more. So I can get myself in the shot here. There we go, camera down, camera down. All right, passing by me, it should be right here, and there you go. You can FPV with the Wi-Fi phone app and adjust your camera angle so you can see what you are looking at. There I am, camera angle down, and it is going away from me, so let me go ahead and turn around and there we go, camera angle up. 
one more down, down. All right, there you go, going away from me. Oop, over rotated. So there is a little issue with over rotation here. So it is coming towards me. There we go. Oh, lots of birds. All right, camera angle down, 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 down. As it's passing over, and camera angle back up so you can see the horizon. All right, turning around and coming back towards me. All right, there you go, guys. The Tenergy Phoenix, the rebranded Kai Dang Pantona, flown with the hard remote and also flown with the Wi-Fi phone app. And I think it is slowly starting to get a little sluggish. So time to bring it in. Okay, so that'll be it for the Tenergy Phoenix. I'm gonna hit the one key to land button. So thank you so much for tuning in and watching. Have a great day and We'll see you again next time. Ah, oh, missed the landing pad by just a little bit.